The jury heard powerful testimony in the first full day in the Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz trial. The administrator of Baylor Scott and White Surgicare in North Dallas testified that they were desperately trying to figure out why so many patients were experiencing medical emergencies during what should have been routine procedures. Fox Wars Lori Brown live at the federal courthouse. Lori. Glorious, the administrator of the Surgicare Center on Coit Road became emotional during her testimony about an 18-year-old patient who was the 11th to experience a cardiac emergency at the facility in less than four months. Choking back tears, the administrator of the Baylor Scott and White Surgicare on Coit Road in North Dallas described her concern after patients began suffering inexplicable medical emergencies in 2022. We were perplexed because the incidents were happening under different doctors and nurses. She said they even had equipment tested. We were desperately trying to figure out what was going on, Ashley Burks testified. In 2021, Burks said there were five transfers to hospitals for complications or emergencies. But between May and August of 2022, that number soared to 14. On August 24th, an 18-year-old teenager was having a simple outpatient procedure for a nose defect. 30 minutes after an IV bag was taken into his operating room, he experienced a cardiovascular crisis. Burks became emotional remembering the day, saying she called the center's governing chair and told him it is expletive happening again, apologizing to the jury for her language. The teen's parents were told he had a 50-50 chance of surviving. He did pull through, and his grandfather, a Los Angeles cardiologist, spoke with us in 2022. The toxic agents that had been injected into the intravenous fluid that he received initially made his blood pressure go sky high, impossibly high, the kind of numbers that you, you never see. After the teen's cardiac emergency, Burks testified they looked at the IV bag and found a hole in it. We were stunned, she said. But even with that powerful testimony, there is a burden of proof on the prosecution. Paul Coggins, a former U.S. attorney who now handles white-collar crimes, says the defense will work to raise doubt in the minds of one or two jurors about Dr. Ortiz's role. One of the things the defense is going to try to do is cast doubt on this whole motive argument uh, that, you know, he was trying to shift blame on other people. He'd had such run-ins with the Texas Medical Board and with the authorities and things like that, that he was sort of taking it out on others, you know, in this kind of crazy way. So they're going to try to cast doubt on that, say that he had no motive uh, to commit this kind of crime. And the second thing, as I said, they're going to try to show that others had the opportunity to do this. Prosecutors also showed a lot of videos of Dr. Ortiz that are not yet publicly available. In one of the videos, Ortiz is seen watching as a patient is wheeled out by paramedics after receiving what prosecutors say was one of those tainted IV bags. Clarice. Lori Brown, live outside of the Earl Cabell Federal Courthouse. Lori, thank you.